So hello guys, this is Sam here from the Photographer Academy, I'm the main video guy and I'm just going to give you a quick rundown uh, in this series of the basics of editing with Premiere Pro. So in this first film we're just going to look at setting up a project and a little bit of the layout and how I would usually use that for any of the projects that we're doing. So as you can see on screen I've just launched Premiere Pro which is the 2015.4 version and the first thing you're going to see is this little start window here which shows you the uh, projects I've been working on recently and a few other different options but the one we're interested in is we're just going to click new project. So this then launches our new project window which we shall give it a, a name so we're going to call this one uh, Premiere teaching setup just nice and simple and then I'm just going to browse through on my hard drive as to where I'm going to save that so I'm just going to select my working videos folder here and set that as my main save area the main options you're going to have here are your video rendering playback which is the Mercury playback engine depending on which graphics card you've got you might want to choose the uh, GPU acceleration version but for stability and most of the stuff I tend to leave it just on the software version then you've also got your display format in timecode, audio samples and capture HDV I would probably leave most of these as they are set up uh, at the moment you don't really need to worry too much about those um, the other thing that you might need to check is your scratch disks but uh, in most projects I tend to leave these the same as the project so the scratch disk is just the area of your hard drive where it stores your files and all that kind of stuff um, I'd like to keep everything together so I always leave this set exactly the same as project just as it comes so that's all we really need to worry about when we're going through this initial setup process we're just going to keep it nice and simple so just hit OK and it's going to launch the main Premiere layout okay so Premiere is now open into the standard setup you can see here along the top we have a few different options and I'm currently using the editing layout for CS 5.5 um, you can adjust the layouts of all of these different windows into lots of different uh, configurations depending on how it is best for you uh, I obviously learned with older versions of Premiere and I'm comfortable with this layout so I always choose to leave it in the 5.5 version because that's the layout I'm comfortable with and I find it quite helpful uh, for the way that I edit so I leave it set to 5.5 you can adjust these any way you like but for me I'm going to be operating everything in the 5.5 layout key windows are over here you've got your project window where you store your media and you can set up your folders which are known as bins uh, where you keep all your files and you can sort through everything down here on the left hand side you have a few different options You've got your media browser for finding files and your effects one these are the two main ones in this window for me effects are things like your transitions and uh, all that kind of stuff so we'll go through those in details later then up here you have your source file window which will if you're reviewing media from your bins and you double click those they'll open into the source file for you to actually have a watch and flick through and then you also up here have your audio track mixer, your metadata window and your effects controls which again we'll go through once they actually start to come into play as we start to edit and over here on the right hand side you have your main viewer window which again once we start getting clips into a timeline this is where you'll actually see the edit that you're putting together and you'll be able to watch it back and scrub through it and make kind of see what you're actually putting together and then down here on the bottom is your timeline window this is once you form the sequence and you start to start cutting stuff together and um, you can open multiple sequences at once this is where you'll control which sequence you're using and then you can scrub up and down through it again once we've set one up we will uh, see how that works and then you've got your little toolbar here as well with your arrow select track forward track back there's lots of different ones but then there's the razor tool and the pen tool and the hand tool and zoom tool so there's lots of different ways to do pretty much the same thing in different ways in this program so it's often easier if you just find a way that works for you but i'm going to show you how i do it and then once we're comfortable and we're set up with that you can start to experiment with your own uh, items there so once you've got to this point the first thing you're going to want to do is start yourself a sequence which is where you start to actually put stuff together so if you hit 
sequence it'll open you up with a lot of options now the key part of this is selecting uh, an option for your sequence that matches the camera and the best matches the camera and the footage that you've used to film uh, your footage so for most of you that's probably going to be a digital SLR or DSLR that's quite a nice standard setting it works for most of the footage coming from most of the cameras so that's the easiest way to do it and then you just go to 1080p if that's what you've filmed in or 720 if you filmed in that and then the key thing here is to check your frame rate here on the right hand side so if you've been shooting in America or whatever, it might be 30 frames a second. But over here in Europe and the UK, most of the stuff is shot at 25 frames a second. So we will use that as our base and then we'll just give it a name. And again, we'll call this, uh, I'll call it training sequence one. And we'll hit OK for that. So what you'll see now is we have a sequence up here and that has opened that sequence down in the sequence window as I explained before and you can see we now have a blank area in our preview window that is showing what we're, is visible at this point in the timeline. So now we've got to this, this is the easiest part and it, don't worry if it, during that you weren't sure what uh, footage you've got or what footage uh, settings is best to use. If you've, As long as all your footage is the same, the easiest thing to do is once you've imported it and you drag it onto the timeline, uh, Premiere will analyse that footage and if there's a discrepancy it will ask you whether you want to change the settings to match the footage that you're bringing in or whether you'd like to keep the settings you've got. So. Don't worry too much about it. Once you get into this initial uh, import phase and drag the first footage on, you can make adjustments then. If at any point you drag that in and you click don't change the settings or you'd like to change the settings at any point after you've done that initial um, footage grab, the easiest way to do it is just go to your sequence, right click and go to sequence settings and all of the same options that you had in the previous window about DSLR and the various camera settings and so will all pop up here. You can change your frame rates, you can change your file size, your video size, uh, whether it's progressive or interlaced. There's, there's lots of different options in there, but most of that you don't need to worry about. It's just if you do need to make a change at any point, it's a simple right click, sequence settings, and you can make that adjustment here. Just select OK. So there you go guys, that is the basic, basic run through of getting up and running with Premiere to the point where you have a sequence and you're ready to start importing your footage to start building your edit. So in the next film we're going to show you how to import the media and sort that through to get yourself into a position where you can start actually building your edit. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you again soon.